A huge welcome to our viewers from the Estadio Berra Rio, located here in Porto Alegre, Brazil, and home to SC Internacional. The teams then, Italy against Poland. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I would go for Robert Lewandowski. As good a centre forward with his back to goal as I've seen, he can turn and roll defenders for fun. And once facing his target, he has all the finishing skills that you could require. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Immobile. Immobile! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. I just really like the way they've started with such intensity, Peter. Now that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And it's Lewandowski. Looks like a good ball through. Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Jorginho. Florenzi. Italy putting their opponents under a lot of pressure in the early stages. Insigne passes it through. Whipped in. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. And it's Lewandowski. Brings it forward. Looks to slip it through. Florenzi. The other side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Lorenzo Insignia. to get on the end of this. Krikoviak. Krikoviak. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. It was long and forward. Florenzi. Tries a through ball. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. And it's Immobile. Now it's Berati. Crosses it in low. 
that's well blocked and back out it comes it's a good run down the right where could this lead for a moment you felt that was going somewhere but they'll have to go again Immobile now can he finish oh no it's an own goal Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. One moment's crazy confusion, but they all count. Look, often chances are hard to come by in these games, so just one mistake could be all it takes to make the difference. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Well, every now and again we get a bit lucky, Peter, don't we? And this is an absolute treat. A tremendous spectacle for the neutrals, but a bit of a nightmare for the fans and two managers. Italy leading 1-0 at the break. Here we go again then. Italy going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Lorenzo Insignia displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Marco Verratti. Insignia. Now the pass. Lorenzo Insignia needed to come up with a better ball. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Krikoviak. Keeper's got good distance on that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary uh, don't dive in try to pinch it or or intercept so nobody can get in behind Krakowiak thrust towards the front line and he's cut it out Bonucci tries a long pass towards the front battles to win it back it's Lewandowski. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And it's Insigne. Now it's Immobile. Looks to slip it through. Lorenzo Insigne looking to get on the end of this. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Lewandowski. This is promising. Passes it through. Certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Camille Glick. Aimed long and direct. 
Lewandowski. Florent. That's surely a foul free kick. Looks like a good ball through. Jorginho boots it upfield. Kukoviak. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. Camille Glick. Italy leading here by this still precarious 1 0 margin. Gets wrestled off the ball. Immobile. Al Sharawi with the ball through. Fires it in low. And that's not the cross he had in mind. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And it's Blaszczykowski. Complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. Chesney gets it upfield. Chiellini gets into the right position to intercept. Immobile. Oh, good interception. So that's it, it is all over. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, I think a lot of people will go home feeling they've got their money's worth from this. There was plenty of good football played in a, a very sporting match.